Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks War Gaming and uh, another part to my um, building a craft world series. Uh, this is probably going to be the last part for a, a few months. Um, I've got nothing sort of painted up at the moment and uh, no Eldar projects on the go, but I do have other things uh, in the to do pile. Uh, unfortunately, um, they're not actually physically with me um, because of this current situation uh, that we're in. Uh, they're actually at, uh, at Warhammer World because <laughs> uh, the day that I was due to go there to collect them was the day that it actually closed, which was um, slightly annoying. But hey, it, it is what it is. I'll get them eventually. I'm not in a rush for them. Um, so this is the the last uh, model in the force to uh, to sort of round out my 1750 army, which is obviously a Farseer on his uh, little jet bike. Uh, used all the same colours as uh, as usual. Um, just tried to give him a little bit of extra detail across the front there with a the black stripe, which I uh, just freehanded. Didn't bother using any. Um, masking tape or anything like that for that it wasn't really necessary it was quite easy to do just take take it very steady and just do a couple of thin lines and then fill in the black in between once you're uh, once you're happy with the placement anyone could do that really um then a couple of decals so one for the ibrisil logo and one for i think it's in infinity circuit or something like that and then at the back i hope i've got the right transfer but i think this is the um the transfer for um farseers uh, so just put that on the uh, on the back there. The um, the cloak. Look at him; he's doing a wheelie or something. Uh, the cloak on this guy. Um, sorry, I really don't like these bases. They tend to flop around a lot, which is why I've uh, not done that on my uh, shining spears, as I mentioned in the video. Um, but the cloak for the Farseer itself is just with the ultramarine colours, actually. So it's the Macrag blue and the Calgar blue. So um, and using the, um, I think it's Draken, Drakenhof Nightshade or something like that as the uh, the recess wash. Uh, and then I've just got glazed over uh, with uh, the, I have actually got the old blue glaze, but you could use the Ultramarines technical paint, just really thin down and just glaze over. And the reason I do that is the highlight, I think it's the Calgar blue, which is the highlight colour. Uh, it's actually really quite, light compared to the darker shade of blue so it stands out a little bit too much so I tend to sort of tone it down a bit with um, with the glaze and you can see there it just sort of helps take the edge off it quite a bit so uh, yeah it's more like a subtle highlight rather than a really stark contrast um, the sword and the gemstones are painted with the same colour scheme that uh, I've used across the entire four. So that's building up from Wazdaka Red through to Emperor's Children. I think there's Wazdaka Red, uh, then I think it's Pink Horror uh, and Emperor's Children. I think they're the three main colours, but I also use the Caribou, uh, Carib Caribou Crimson, I think it's called, as the uh, the shade and uh, mix that in uh, uh, with some of the other layers as well just to give it sort of a little bit more of a contrast rather than um, you know having it really bright i did purposely sort of go around with i think it's the empress children just to sort of make it look like a more of a magical sort of blade around the edges there so that is sort of intentional but uh yeah so that that's him this is the uh, the the warlord of uh, of my force at the moment until uh, the other stuff arrives um so the other stuff that I've got um, yeah, are um, Banshees uh, and uh, Jane Czar. Um, they fit in perfectly with uh, my force from a, a fluff point of view, with it being um, a matriarchal society, as I've mentioned before. And anyone that knows the fluff of Ibrisil knows that um, the aspect warriors that are most prominent in their forces are Banshees. So it just makes sense to have um, Banshees in the force. So um, I've got uh, I think I've got 10 banshees and Jane's are coming so as soon as uh, as soon as they arrive I'll be getting on to those I've got some other projects which I'm going to be working on in the meantime so keep an eye out on our videos uh, for other bits and bobs coming not just Eldar we've got I've got some some blood angels and uh, some other bits and bobs which um, 
I won't mention now because uh, you might have already seen them or you might not see them yet, depending on when I release these videos. So lots of stuff going on. So just make sure that you subscribe and uh, you tick the notification bell so you can uh, never miss a video and everything like that. Uh, throw us a comment down below. Do you like what I've done with this? Uh, what else would you add to the force now that you've seen everything that I've got? Any tips for using the force? Uh, that you can give me would be greatly appreciated because I've had about three battles, two, three battles with um, Eldar so far and not as a complete force. So any tips you can give me would greatly appreciate. But again, appreciate you watching the video. Um, it's uh, really good to see all your comments and interactions down below as well. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one.